Many oxidations of alcohols feature five-membered ring transition states. It might be expected then that reductions of carbonyls would proceed in the same way. But in fact, some of the most important reductions of aldehydes and ketones proceed via six-membered rings. These reduction reactions, of which this aluminum-mediated disproportionation process is probably the oldest known, are characterized by six-membered ring transition states. Now, of course, when the carbonyl is prochiral, an enantioselective reduction can induce optical activity. The Nyori transfer hydrogenation is a superb example of asymmetric reduction of carbonyls. This reaction is a disproportionation process like the aluminum-mediated one. It begins with the ruthenium-2 chloride pre-catalyst. That chloride can be converted to the true catalyst, the ruthenium hydride, by substitution with an alkoxide and beta elimination. The catalytic process is an equilibrium between the carbonyl reacting with the ruthenium hydride to generate another ruthenium-2 complex, which then reacts with isopropanol solvent to regenerate the active hydride. The catalytic process is superbly efficient. Substrate to catalyst ratios of 200 to 1 are high for this type of reaction. And it's chemoselective. Alkenes and alkynes are not reduced. Strangely, there's another reduction of carbonyl compounds that is mechanistically similar but features boron heterocycles. Reaction of proline derivatives with aryl Grignard reagents, then quenching with alkyl or aryl boronates, gives five-membered ring boron-containing heterocycle. The nitrogen and the oxygen in that heterocycle contribute electron density to the empty p orbital of the boron. Coordination of the endocyclic nitrogen with the borane increases the Lewis acidity of the endocyclic boron and provides a nucleophilic hydride. The carbonyl compound can sit between these two with the smallest group occupying the smallest space. That six-membered ring transition state then collapses and liberates a boronate ester which eventually is hydrolyzed. The borane reducing agent doesn't have to be BH3 if it's catechol borane, for instance, a less reactive source of BH, then the reaction can become chemoselective in the same way that the Nyori catalyst is, only the carbonyl is reduced and not the alkene or indeed the vinyl iodide in this particular reaction. It's unconventional to refer to addition of nucleophilic organometallics to carbonyls as reductions but they are reductions of a CO to a CC bond. There's a set of reactions of this type that involve nucleophilic organo-zinc reagents in the presence of amino alcohol ligands to add enantioselectively. Formation of the catalyst is by chelation of the amino alcohol with zinc and loss of ethane in this particular case. Coordination of another molecule of diethyl zinc sets up a nucleophilic zinc ethyl center. The aldehyde positions itself between this nucleophilic center and the Lewis acidic zinc in the ring, and the alkyl group is delivered preferentially to one enantioface. There are many variants of every reaction type in this video. Different ligands on ruthenium, different boron heterocycles, and different amino alcohols on zinc. There are also some nuances about the mechanisms that are not discussed, but there's a common theme. If you put your hand on the nucleophile and tug it towards the carbonyl, you can feel the electron flow as the electrons move through the oxygen towards the proton or the Lewis acid in these six-membered ring transition states. Thank you for watching. This is Kevin Burgess. 
If you want to see more videos in this series, or purchase a book on organic reactions, please visit the website www.buyinquisition.org.